Hey guys and welcome back to my channel! So I have chosen five myths about ADHD that I personally find really annoying. The ones that I find have particularly affected my life. I've chosen to do the myth video today because obviously it's ADHD awareness month but what we have to do first is distinguish what is a fact and what is a myth we have to get rid of all the false information about adhd if you do have any myths that i haven't mentioned that you want others to know comment them down below in the comments write what the myth is and actually the fact underneath so that we can continue raising awareness so here are my top five most annoying myths assumptions ignorant comments statements that people have made about adhd that have significantly affected my life but yeah here we go let's just let's just get on but first if you could smash me a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my youtube channel i will forever be grateful also have an instagram and facebook page if you want to follow that go ahead yeah so yeah thank you so much and let's just jump straight into the video so the first one is adhd only affects males or you know boys can only get adhd i'm a female and I wasn't diagnosed till I was 21 and a lot of my symptoms, traits, problems, if like difficulties, issues that I had growing up were put down to hormones, they were put down to um, my age, anxiety, social anxiety, you know as a woman I was, I think personally this stigma of ADHD can only be, can only affect males, it, it affected me hugely because a lot of my kind of traits and symptoms were just completely ignored because of you know it was labeled as hormones when actually I was struggling with undiagnosed ADHD the thing here is males are more likely to be diagnosed but the thing is males and females can both get ADHD there's there's absolutely no margin there to say that either or can't it's just it's, there's just there's not a fact there that it's a complete myth the only thing out that is men males can of course have ADHD, same as women, but they do get diagnosed more because their symptoms can differ, can manifest in different ways, which can get seen more. Um, and females, like I just say, it's just ignored and put under the hormones category. So yeah, that's the first one. So the next one is people with ADHD can never focus. They can't ever focus on anything. Like it's just impossible for them to focus. So. 99% of the time, for me personally, this is completely correct. But there are different types of ADHD. There is hyperactivity and impulsive type combined or inattentive type. People who are inattentive may be able to focus a lot more than someone who is hyperactivity and impulsive type or combined type. So there are, there are obviously there's so much more research to be done on this um, compared to the types, subtypes, um, yeah. But this is kind of how I was taught and how I was how I understand it is there with there's three types of ADHD and you know every single one of them will affect an individual differently some may be more hyperactive than others and, and some are able to concentrate and focus more on others that being said people with ADHD have this some call it a gift some say it's a curse I just say it's just downright annoying and that is hyper focus we have the ability to hyper focus that can be good that can be bad and when we're passionate and interested in something we hyper focus and it's like laser focus there is no it's like tunnel vision there is no way we can break that focus we get a burn out we forget to eat we forget to drink we forget that actually we're human being we do exist outside of this passion so yeah it can negatively impact upon a person but also it is um people can see it as a gift people can see this as a really great talent skill and gift that adhd gives them um like a people say superpower you know my feelings on that and i'm not gonna get into it but some people think it's a superpower people can hyper focus so yeah that that of adhd people with adhd can never focus it's impossible that's a total lie People with ADHD certainly can focus. They can focus quite a lot actually. Um, and it's hard to break that focus. We're either completely focused or we're not focused. Th that's just not a fact. People with ADHD can focus. They can focus really well when they are passionate and their focus is on something they are really interested in. So that fact, that myth of um, 
people with ADHD can never focus is impossible. That does that that, that is that is a total myth. That's not true, not even one percent true. So yeah. For myth number three, it is ADHD is caused by bad parenting. Ugh. No, 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 it's not. This has been something that my parents have had said to them. They they were, you know, they were told that they weren't parenting me good enough, they were letting me get away with things, I was a spoiled brat, they weren't disciplining me enough. Um, and I know the detrimental effect this can have on a parent. My parents were called bad parents because of my behaviour, because of my way of coping with my undiagnosed ADHD, with my emotional meltdowns, with my, you know, so some said tantrums, you know. I was a lost soul. I needed redirection. I needed someone to help me. And actually, it wasn't my parents. They were doing everything they possibly could to keep me on track, to make me make sure I'm a loving, kind, passionate, caring person. You know, they done everything they possibly could, but I still had ADHD. So I don't understand how people could come up with these really stupid and disrespectful things they say about parents of send children like using it as an excuse i just think it's really rude and as you can tell I, I don't i don't stand for that i just think it's totally not okay so for number four this myth uh i feel like a lot of adhds will understand why i really don't like it and i detest it and it is if only people with adhd tried harder they would succeed right no people with adhd right a, a neurotypical person puts in 100%, okay? Someone with ADHD, or a neuro neurological, neurodiverse condition, has to put in 1,000%. Because our, our, our 100% just is never enough. And that's a fact. We have to try our hardest to prove ourselves. We have to try our hardest to be picked for the team. Because what people don't, they don't see past our behaviour, our emotional meltdowns, or our talkative because we're really talkative we're super chatty people can't see beyond these kind of flaws that they see as adhd they can't they can't see a past that and if you know i actually think this this statement is is a it's just ridiculous because actually if people tried harder to understand us then we would succeed if you flip it it makes total sense but the statement itself, if only people if only people with ADHD tried harder, they could succeed, that that just doesn't make sense because all we ever do is try hard. All we ever do, and most of us are people pleasers because we're absolutely just in fear of being rejected or not being good enough. We put a thousand percent in when you're probably only putting in ten percent. And I hate the fact that people think that if only we tried harder, yeah, if only we tried harder. Well how about let's flip that? If only neurotypicals tried harder to understand us maybe we wouldn't need to try as hard yeah i'm not going to talk about that one anymore because it's quite self-explanatory so the last one is ready blah, 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 blah. drum roll okay the next one is i've forgotten and um, what was it again oh yeah adhd is overdiagnosed <laughs> No, how can it be overdiagnosed when everyone's on the bloody waiting list for like two and a half years? How the hell was that overdiagnosed? No, let's just get this down and dirty, right? Nobody, ADHD is not overdiagnosed. The fact is, it hasn't been well known. Like, loads of people, doctors, psychologists, they used to write ADHD completely off. Like, oh, you're going to outgrow it. Yeah, whatever. You know, it's not that bad. People used to completely ignore it. And they would just call these people, like, asbos, you know, delinquents, criminals. But actually, a lot of them do have ADHD. And if only they had the right diagnosis, if only they had the right medication, if only they had the right help, they would not have that label. No. They would have the correct diagnosis and they would be thriving because they had the help and they were involved in a community that actually understood them. But yeah, I guess it all comes down to your perspective. And I personally feel like if you think it's overdiagnosed, cool, that's your opinion. But in actual fact, people are now coming forward because they, they are beginning to learn and know the side effect, the, sorry, not side effects. They now know the symptoms, traits of what ADHD is because it was never well known enough, but now people are starting to realise, oh, that could be me, because people, you know, are advocating online, people are putting their, their story out, they're putting their diagnosis out, and that's making people realise, oh, wow, yeah, I could have that, and I'm going to go to the doctor. I mean, it doesn't really get you very far if you go to the doctor, because you're, like, stuck on a waiting list for five years, and you've got to fill out, like, a 
an assessment sheet that's like completely not ADHD friendly. It's like 10 pages of like absolute rubbish that we're not passionate about and it takes us about five years to fill it out and then that's been 10 years and it's like oh what the hell. But yeah, you know, it's a real long process. I mean it's totally worth it, don't get me wrong, but what I'm trying to say is it's not overdiagnosed. So I really hope that today's video has helped you or it has cleared up some of these myths. And I hope basically it's done what it's done and I hope that my video has raised awareness and educated people, given them the knowledge to move forward and help people. That is what my videos are here for and yeah, please let's like refrain from believing any of these things because they are not true. They do deeply have an impact on ADHDs themselves because we are targeted and tarred with the same brush as these stigmas and when we ask for help, people don't want to help us because they're like, oh no. Only boys get it, so females can't get it, so I don't believe you. Like, it is ridiculous. People actually believe in these myths, and it's like a domino effect. If we stop using them, people are not going to know about them. So, let's just help spread the word that these are not true. So, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!